Hello lovely people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm presenting a vocabulary learning session. I'll provide five words, their meanings, example sentences and conclude with a short story using these words in context. Let's dive right in without any delay. So the first word that I have for you is punitive, punitive. The spelling is P-U-N-I-T-I-V-E. What's the meaning of this word? Involving or inflicting punishment. Punitive refers to something related to or involving punishment or intended as a form of punishment. It can describe actions, measures or rules designed to penalize or discipline. Let's look at a few examples. The judge imposed punitive measures on the convicted criminals. Second example is the company faced punitive fines for violating labor laws. The second word that I have for you is precarious. Precarious. P-R-E-C-A-R-I-O-U-S. That's the spelling. Precarious is an adjective that refers to something that is uncertain, risky, or dependent on unpredictable conditions. It describes a situation that is unstable, insecure, or likely to change unexpectedly, potentially leading to difficulty or danger. Okay, that's the meaning. So basically, anything that is insecure, uncertain, or risky. Let's look at the examples. She balanced on the precarious edge of the cliff. The second example that I have for you is the economy was in a precarious state due to the financial crisis. Let's look at the third word that I have for you. Squander. Squander is a verb that means to waste something, especially money, time or resources, often in a reckless or thoughtless manner. It involves using something valuable in an extravagant, careless or unwise way without gaining or benefiting uh, benefiting from it okay so we are not using it properly okay to waste or spend recklessly or thoughtlessly let's look at the examples he squandered his inheritance on frivolous purchases don't squander your time use it wisely okay let's look at the fourth word that i have for you is Halitosis, halitosis, H-A-L-I-T-O-S-I-S, -I -I -S. that's the spelling. Halitosis refers to chronic bad breath, a condition characterized by unpleasant or foul-smelling breath that persists over time. It can result from various factors such as poor oral hygiene, certain foods, dental issues, or underlying health problems. Meaning, so basically, in simple word, it means chronic bad breath, okay? If somebody's mouth is stinking, that's halitosis for you. Let's look at a few examples. Poor health, poor oral hygiene can lead to halitosis. He chewed mints regularly to mask his halitosis. The last word that I have for you is luxurious i think this is a very common word probably you already know this but yes i thought to cover this word also in my in my session so luxurious is an adjective used to describe something characterized by luxury comfort elegance or opulence it refers to items experiences or environments that offer high levels of pleasure indulgence and sophistication so basically it means characterized by luxury or providing comfort or pleasure okay examples they stayed in a luxurious hotel suite during the vacation her new car has a luxurious interior with leather seats and advanced features so lastly, let's look at the short story that I have for you to understand these words in context for better understanding, okay? 
In a luxurious castle, a prince led a lavish life, squandering riches heedlessly. His precarious decisions led to punitive consequences, cursed with halitosis. Shunned, he sought a cure. A humble herbalist offered help. Grateful and transformed, the prince learned humility. He rebuilt the kingdom using the wealth wisely. His reign became renowned not for opulence but for compassion, teaching all that true riches lie in kindness. That's it for today. Thank you for turning in and I hope you loved this vocabulary session and if you want me to make more videos on vocabulary or grammar let me know what you want from me so that I can guide you and I can help you on that and thank you once again bye signing off